Okay, um, so now let's, let's explore the, the second notion. The second notion is that, um, that not, you know, all right, we may not make, um, that not, that, that in the decisions that we make, that part of them, at least part of them, are, um, are you know, in our control. And I actually went a little through this uh, explaining the first part. But the idea is, think about this. Um, let's imagine, imagine you are um, writing a report, raking leaves, doing dishes, doing whatever you're doing. Okay, and then there's, there's someone, something, and in this case it'll be your unconscious, who, um, who insists on taking part in that decision to do that and insists on taking part in the actual doing of, of whatever you're going to be doing. Now, if that's the case, you can't really say that, um, that either the decision to do whatever you do or the doing of it is completely of your free will. Because again, you have something that you can't control that, that is insisting on, on, um, on helping out with it. Um, and that's where the unconscious comes in. Okay, the unconscious again, it it uh, <laughs> it never sleeps. It never sleeps, and um, and to the extent that it's not making the decision completely, because I think in a lot of cases it is. You know, we're just beginning to understand that in, in neuroscience and psychology. But to the extent that it's not um, making the, the decision complete, it certainly uh, is taking part. You know, uh, again. Um, if we have to draw on the unconscious for the concepts, you know, for the, for, for the, uh, the building blocks, the words, the vo vocabulary, the memories upon which we're going to make our decision, then obviously, obviously that unconscious is going to take part, at least part, in every decision we make.